everybody, Angela here with Coastal Crafts. Today, we're gonna make the La Jolla Lariat, but before we get started, I wanted to show you a few different ways how you can wear your Lariat. So, a Lariat is a necklace that does not have a closure or a clasp on the end. It's usually long enough that you can wrap and tie. So, the first way I like to wear it is placing my pearls in the center of my neck, wrapping it around the back and looping the ends over each other until we're like a loose knot. And I just adjust it and wear like this. The second way to wear your lariat is to put it on like a scarf. So you fold your strand in half. You have a loop in one hand and your crystals in the other. Come around the back of your neck, put the crystals through the loop and we'll wear like this. What's great about the La Jolla Lariat is you can slide the pearls around. They aren't fixed in place. So you can move them around depending on how you're wearing your Lariat. The third way that I like to wear a Lariat, especially this one with the leather and pearls, is to wrap it around my wrist like a bracelet, a layered bracelet, and loop the crystals into a loose knot again. And you get a multi-layered bracelet look with charms. The cool thing about the La Jolla Lariat is it is black faux suede lace, white freshwater pearls, and clear quartz crystal points. So it's gonna go with just about anything. All right, let's get to making. All right guys, let's make that La Jolla Lariat. You wanna go ahead and grab your supplies. In the La Jolla Lariat kit, you'll find um, an extra tool that I've included. It's a wooden handled awl. It has a super sharp pointy tip, so please be careful. Keep the little stopper on until we need to use it. Go ahead and grab your cutters, your round nose pliers, your flat nose pliers, and I always like to have my bead design board um, just to unpack the, all of our supplies into. It keeps everything from rolling around. We have a faux suede lace. We've got nine freshwater pearls. These pearls have a larger drilled hole so that we can fit them onto our suede. Two quartz crystal points. These are drilled. You're gonna learn how to wire wrap them today. Speaking of wire, we've got about a foot and a half of sterling silver wire. We like to use precious metals in our kits. Um, it just makes for a better quality piece of jewelry. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is thread the pearls onto our faux suede. So go ahead and unwrap your string off the card and give it a little stretch just to get rid of any of the kinks that may have formed from being wrapped on the card. It is actually time for the awl. Go ahead and slide the tip, that little rubber tip off of the awl. We're gonna make a hole in the center of the suede. You're just gonna put the awl in the middle of the suede. Work it around until you've got a hole right in the middle of the suede. Your awl is just going right through. Go ahead and cut about four inches. You can use your bead board if you want to measure of wire. Set the other wire off to the side. We're gonna need that for our crystals later. Go ahead and thread it through the tip of the suede. We're just making a needle so that it's easier to slide our pearls onto our suede. It's just a little pro tip. Go ahead and grab a pearl. Feed it onto the suede. You've got nine pearls here and it's a wrap necklace. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is slide three pearls down all the way down to the left, three pearls in the middle, and three pearls down closer to the right hand side, closer to the side that has the needle on it. Um, we are not going to tie the pearls in place because they do fit so tightly on our suede 
that we don't need to, wherever we slide them is where they're gonna stay. Don't be afraid to pull hard. You want them to get on, they will go on. Once you have all of your pearls on your suede, you can slide them into place. You can also slide them into place after uh, you try it on. for now and grab our quartz crystal points. Okay, here we go. We're gonna wire wrap our quartz crystal points so that they have a loop on top like this so we can tie them onto the end of our suede lace lariat. Take the remaining sterling silver wire that you have, cut it in half. You're gonna need one piece each for our crystals. Slide your crystal on into the middle of the wire. Cross the wires over each other. Just kind of mold it with your fingers to the tip of the crystal, the top. So you're gonna cross them over each other. You're gonna grab your flat nose plier. Grab one of the wires at the intersection where they meet. Put a kink in it so that it points straight up. I like to just bend it with the plier so that it's a nice tight angle there. You've got one wire pointing up. One wire is gonna wrap around about two or three times. You're making a coil from the base of the crystal going up this wire here. Take your cutters. Get in as close as you can. Remember to cover or hold the piece that you're cutting so it doesn't go flying. Grab your round nose pliers. You're gonna grab right on top of the coil that you just made. And you're gonna bring this wire, bend it down towards you. We're molding the wire around the nose of our plier. You wanna scoot in a little bit further on the plier so that we get a nice medium-sized circle. The further you go in on the plier, the bigger your loop will be. The closer to the tip that you work, the thinner, the smaller your circle's gonna end up. So we've got our wire down towards us. We're gonna rotate our pliers. We're gonna rotate our knuckles back towards us. So release the grip on your plier like you're revving a motorcycle. Bring the knuckles back towards you, grip back down, Wire goes up and over, release your grip, knuckles away and under. Take your wire and complete that circle, bringing it under the nose of the plier. You can see we've got a nice round circle. To keep that circle round, you're gonna grab your flat nose pliers and you're gonna grip onto that loop Take your round nose pliers, grab the very end of the wire, and you're gonna make a coil, same as you did in the beginning, but this time we're gonna wrap away and down towards the crystal until you meet the end of the other little wire that you cut off in the beginning. Grab your cutters, get in there nice and close, cover and cut. Now you're gonna have those little edges are gonna be sticking out a little bit, so you're gonna to wanna to take your flat nose plier and just crimp down on those edges so that you don't have anything sharp sticking out. You've got a beautiful wire wrap here. Set that aside, we'll do one more. Throw 
thread your crystal to the middle of your wire. Cross them. Bend one wire up straight. Wrap the other two or three times around that wire. Cover and cut. Grab our round nose plier. Now it's time to make the loop. Grab right on top of the coil. Bring that wire down towards you. Rotate your pliers like you're rubbing a motorcycle. Move that wire up and over, away, complete your circle. Grab your flat nose pliers and grip your circle. Wrap the wire away and down towards the crystal. Hello, where'd you go? Okay, now we're gonna snip and tuck. Now both of our crystals have loops on the top and you can tie them on to the end of your lariat. Slide them on if you need to move the pearls up a little bit to give you some room to tie your knot. Go ahead and do that. Tie your knot, snip that down, and you can slide your pearls to wherever you want them. Trim it. And now you have your La Jolla Lariat. And that completes the La Jolla Lariat. Stick around to check out the three different ways I like to wear mine.